Hi there, thank you for joining me tonight. It's Nadine Valley with Stamp with Nadine V. I'm coming to you today to do a uh, little tutorial on a uh, project uh, that we can uh, look forward to doing. It's all paper and it, these are the cute little baubles that can be hung um, on a gift or actually on the Christmas tree. So here's a couple different ones here. I'm gonna have, oops, there we go. And I'm gonna have the um, dimensions and all of the uh, measurements uh, on my blog after uh, this video. So I've got a template here as well. And what you're gonna be doing is cutting um, the uh, three strips of uh, paper, DSP paper, and I've already done that. I've taken the liberty of cutting the uh, DSP prior to the um, video. And you can see here the three strips of paper. They measure one and five eighths by seven and three quarters. And they're gonna be scored at half inch, one and one quarter inch, three and one quarter inch, four and seven eighths, and six and seven eighths. I'm also gonna be bringing in the third largest layering circles die and that will be used and I'll show you that how that's put together and I'm um, gonna need some twine and I've got a couple things that are stamped out so that we can add that to the tag as well and a uh, half inch punch now I believe that this has been discontinued but I will show you um, what I will be using with that and uh, there could be something that you have in your craft space that allows you uh, to do what I'm going to show you. Okay, so right now what I'm going to be doing is bringing in the scoreboard. And the scoreboard here, I'm going to show you, uh, we're going to be scoring at uh, these measurements that uh, we had. So that's a half an inch. I'm going to line that right up to the edge of that uh scoreboard there at the top and the side and we're going to score down at a half an inch and we're going to do one and one quarter inch and we're going to do this for all three of the uh, pieces uh, that's three and one quarter and we're going to go four and seven eighths and six and seven eighths so there's one and we're going to actually put we've got two pages there two pieces of paper whoops let's just do one at a time here there we go oops for some reason that's not wanting to stay on the track and then we want one and a quarter and we're going to go three and a quarter four and seven eighths and six and seven eighths so then we'll just bring in that third piece that makes it very easy okay so that's a half inch one and a quarter three and one quarter four and seven eighths and six and seven eighths okay so that's all the scoring and the cutting now the measurements for the pieces again will be up on my uh, blog after and uh, I will make sure that the link is attached to this video. Alrighty, uh, okay, so what we're gonna do is just gently kind of see those uh, score lines and I'm, this is where I'm, we're gonna be bringing in the uh, circle die and you can see there and I'm gonna show you on the template again. So here we have the score lines and what we're going to be doing is using the circle die and scoring um, a circle on these two larger pieces of all three of those strips of paper. So we're just going to take that and I'm going to just gently, and, and it doesn't have to be really... Um, uh, you don't have to press down too hard. Uh, you're just going to want to get a nice indent. I'm going to flip that over and make it a little bit easier for the sake of the video so that I can score these as quickly as possible. And 
There we go. There's one. And there's going to be two. And on this paper, because it's got the silver foiling, uh, this is the Whims Whimsy and Wonder DSP paper in the mini catalog that Stampin' Up! have until January. And it is just absolutely gorgeous paper. Now, DSP, because it is, it's two-sided. And... Uh, I think this is just going to be a beautiful ornament once the lights of the tree, uh, or any lights for that matter, hit that paper. It's just going to bounce off and just glisten. It's going to be so pretty. Yay! So pretty! Okay, so that looks like we've got all the, you can see that, there we go. And if you do find it a little bit easier to uh, do the uh, circle scoring, the um, curved uh, scores, turn it on the other side of the paper, whichever you find is the easiest, okay? So now you can see here that all three have been done. And on the one here, we're gonna add a little hole uh, there and I've got a punch and I'm just gonna grab my little punch here but first what I'm gonna do is I want to reinforce that hole so I'm just gonna grab a scrap piece of paper here let's see let's use some thick cardstock here so I'm just gonna grab a hole there and let's grab some adhesive and we're just going to put that on the underbelly of that one panel. And we want to make sure that it's on the side opposite the actual little tab, okay? So we're just going to flip that over, and I'm going to put that right in the middle. I'm going to grab my hole punch, and I'm going to pop a hole right in there, okay? So there we go. Now I'm gonna grab that twine. I'm gonna say about 12 inches of twine. And you'll see here what I'm gonna do is I'm going to tie a knot and I'll double knot that. And I'm gonna be placing this knot, knotted twine in the hole so that this knot is on the inside and that actual circle will act as a reinforcement because we want to have that ornament for years to come. All right, so there we've got that there and we can put that die away. We don't need that now. And what we're gonna do is grab some tear and tape and what I'm going to be doing with the tear and tape is placing it right onto this uh, small scored tab there on all three on all three uh, pieces of DSP. Okay. All right. It's a really nice adhesive to give it, uh, especially with moving parts. All right, so we're gonna take this one with the uh, twine and another one. And first what I'm gonna do is grab the one and I'm gonna attach that small tab underneath that piece right there, okay? All right, and then I'm gonna take the second one here that has the, <clears throat> excuse me, the twine, and I'm going to bring 
that together. So it reminds me of when we were younger and we would, eh, maybe not that long ago, used to make the paper chain linked uh, chains and we'd run those along the tree. Okay, so there we've got these two pieces. So I wanna make sure that we've got these, um, ha these I guess, circular uh, score lines, all right? I want that to be at the top. I want to be that at the top. And I also want um, this one to go inside here, okay? So we've got that. So again, we've got, we want to be mindful of where those um, circular, um, uh, circular um, score lines are. Okay, so now we've got this tab and we want to go under, we want to go under, let's see if that's gonna work here. We want to go under and there we go that's that's the way to do it and then we want this to come how are we gonna do that let's see Okay, so if we have, we want the circle. And there we go. Sometimes it takes a little while to figure out. So we want that to go under. And then we want that to come in. So over the top. This doesn't seem to be right. So let's have a look here. We've got the seam. We want that to be on the top. And we want that to be on the top. So here we go. This is this is right. Okay. So there we go. So we're gonna go through here. So that see it had I had to figure this one out. Okay. So there we go. There we go. Look at that. Imagine. So now we've got that. Alright. And then that is gonna be on top. Alright, so now we're gonna take that little layer off here. All right, and then we're gonna attach that just like we did the other two. And that's gonna go on that seam there. But we don't want that seam to show, so we're just gonna wiggle that through. And it might be a little bit tedious, but you know what, that way, we just take a little bit of time and it should just start sliding through. Just gotta wiggle that through. As some might say, might have to fight with it a little bit. But as long as we've got those seams where they line up and we've got those. So now you can see that we've got all these half circles in. So now what we can start doing literally is just taking those um, half circle uh, score lines and bringing them in. And you'll start to see that you can see this bobble start to form and how cool is this knowing that you've got a paper product that you can have for years to come and uh, it's been handmade and let's have a see here here we go here we go you see how that's starting to take form So you do all the sides. So 
sometimes there we go there we go it really is a lot of fun to be able to prepare these types of projects and oh see I was like why is that not and it's just we got one more side to do and we're gonna decorate this um, we're gonna decorate this a little bit too once we get this all the sides pressed in here I could have made a little bit easier on myself just by scoring those a little bit firmer. I didn't want to tear the paper, but that's a pretty solid, solid piece. Now, what I've done just for the sake of the video, um, I'm going to tie in the Evening Evergreen, and I've got a beautiful stamp that is um, supported with the merriest moments. And again, that is in the mini. Uh, seasonal catalog and it's gonna say here a joyful Christmas to you and yours and then let's just pop this up onto there we go and let's do some dimensionals let's add some dimensionals here And then I've got some little twigs here that I've uh, used the punch for those. And I'm looking for my, um, let me see, uh, I need some glue dots. I don't know where my glue dots were. There they go. I found my glue dots. right inside and we'll do another one here okay and we'll just have one that just sits right in there like that and you know what let's add some jewels here. Let me see. Grab the take a pick tool. Why not? There we go. I'm just gonna punch a hole through the top here. We'll do it on the angle. All right, and then we'll grab that twine. We'll feed that through. And then what we can do is just tie another knot so that that tag can stay on there again for years to come. You can always put uh, a little bit of uh, white on the back and maybe write on there uh, to it to whom it's going to uh, and the year that it was made and uh, see how long that that can stay in uh, in your Christmas uh, supplies. Now let me just see here that, let's get another, let's just die, tie this knot a little bit bigger so that that does not fall off. There we go, there we go. So there we have it. A nice little bobble, all paper crafted. Um, yes, if you like this video, please give me 
two thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I would love uh, for you to um, follow me and uh, just know, remember that the project details uh, with the measurements will be on my blog post uh, following this. Um, and the link will be uh, in the comments below. Um, I would love for you to uh, be a part of my um, Stampin' uh, friends. And if you are interested to receive further discounts and on products that uh, Stampin' Up! have, uh, please uh, join my team, Winking Stellars, and you can purchase the starter kit to follow. And so uh, join Stamp with Nadine V slash join. And if you would like to uh, try to make this project, and um, I would love for you to share that on social media and hashtag Stamp with Nadine V. That would be great. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. And uh, take care. See you next time. Happy stamping.